Hi guys, welcome to our channel. The topic today our topic is about control system. In this video, we are going to find the transfer function for the block diagram shown in figure. By using one simple shortcut method, we are going to find the transfer function for the block diagram shown in figure. Let us see our shortcut method. Transfer function of this block diagram we can find by using the shortcut method forward paths by. In denominator, we always start with 1 plus or minus individual loops minus plus 2 non-touching loops plus or minus 3 non-touching loops plus or minus and so on. By observing our transfer function clearly, in numerator we are going to find the number of forward paths. In denominator we always start with 1 plus or minus and then individual loops. In this formula we are going to find the number of individual loops that are present in our block diagram. Individual loops means nothing but single loops and, and then we are going to find the two non-touching loops. Two non-touching loops means there is no connection between two individual loops. Likewise three non-touching loops means there is no connection between three individual loops. Now we are going to find the transfer function for the block diagram shown in figure. By using the shortcut method we are going to find the transfer function for this block diagram shown in figure. Our first step is to find the number of forward parts that can exist in our block diagram. We can clearly see there is one forward path going like this. In first forward path what are the elements that are present in forward path 1? There is G1, G2, G3 and G5 can exist in first forward path. Let us see second forward path in our block diagram. We can clearly observe that there is also second forward path going like this, going like this, going like this, going like this, going like this. In second forward path, what are the blocks can exist? G1, G2, G4 and G5 blocks exist in second forward path. In this block diagram, there is only two forward paths exist in this block diagram. What it is going like this, like this, like this. From input to output, another forward path is moving like this. It moving from input to output. We can't move like this. Why? Because the arrow is showing opposite to the direction of moving. And we can't move like this. Why? Because this arrow is showing opposite direction to the direction which we are moving. And we can't move in this direction also. Why? Because this arrow is indicating in opposite direction to the direction of which we are moving. We have only two forward paths in this block diagram. One way we are going from input to output directly. Another way we are moving like this, like this, like this. And moving to output. Our second step is to find the number of individual loops that can exist in this block diagram. Now we are going to find the number of individual loops that can exist in this block diagram. There is first individual loop can exist like this. Individual loop 1. It is starting from here from summing point and it is moving like this and it is ending with summing point. Individual loop 1. And there is second individual loop starting like this coming and coming like this 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 and ending like this this is loop 2 it is starting from here before g3 block and it is moving towards g4 and summing point and it is moving through h2 and it is and it is coming back to the summing point and it is coming back to the from starting point and there is another one individual loop exists in this block diagram it is moving like this like this like this like this like this like this and it is ending with starting point individual loop 3 and there is another individual loop exists in this block diagram it is starting from this point and it is moving like this 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 and it is ending here number of individual loops are 4 in this block diagram there are 4 individual loops can present let us write individual loops individually individual loop 1 what are the blocks present in individual loop 1 g1 g2 h1 the blocks present in individual loop 2 is g1 g2 g4 h2 the blocks which are present in individual loop 3 is g1 g2 g3 and h2 the blocks which are present in individual loop 4 is g3 g5 and h3 we successfully complete step 2 also now we are going to find the number of two non-touching loops that are present in our block diagram. I know your patience is very good. That's why you are watching till now. Please be patient until our question is finished. Now we are going to find the number of two non-touching loops that are exist in our block diagram. Individual loop 1. Let us see individual loop 4. There is no connection between individual loop 1 and individual loop 4. That's why these two loops comes under two non-touching loops. What are the blocks present in 
Loop 1 and loop 4. Now we are going to write G1, G2 and H1. G1, G2, H1. And the blocks which are present in loop 4 is G3, G5 and H3. Sorry guys, I forgot one another individual loop that can present in our block diagram. That is, we are starting from this summing point and we are moving like this, like this, like this, like this and skipping. We are moving from this summing point to and we are skipping this C3 block. In this block diagram, individual loop 5 also exists. The blocks which are present in loop 5 is G4, G5 and H3. And there is another one two non-touching loop is there. It is starting from here, moving like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and coming like this. Two non-touching loop. Another one is G1, J2, H1, G4, G5 and H3. Except in this one, we are getting G3. We are directly moving like this. Instead of moving like this, we are going to move like G4 path. That's why we are getting G4. There are there is two non-touching loops in this block diagram. And there is no three non-touching loops can exist in this block diagram. Now we are going to write the transfer function for this block diagram. First, we are going to write the number of forward paths that are present in this block diagram. Our first forward path is G1, G2, G3 and G5. I am going to write the transfer function for this block diagram here only. The blocks which are present in second forward path is G1, G2, G4 and G5. There is only two forward paths that are present in our block diagram. First forward path is moving like this from input to output and second forward path and second forward path is moving like this from input to output. Now the numerator part of the Trans function is finished. Now we are going to write the denominator part of the trans function. In denominator, first we are going to start with 1 plus or minus. Now we are going to write plus or minus according to the our block diagram. Let us observe individual loop 1. Here there is negative sign. The loop is moving from G1, G2 and H1 and it has only one negative sign. While writing in trans function, we are going to write opposite sign. In this block diagram, we get minus. That's why we are getting we are writing opposite sign plus and loop 1 blocks are G1, G2 and H1. This In this loop 1, G1, G2 and H1 are present. Due to this minus sign, we are going to write opposite sign here. And individual loop 2, now we are going to write. Individual loop 2 is moving like this and moving like this and going to end here. Let us see. Now let us observe individual loop 2. It is moving like this. Like this, like this, and like this, like this, and, and it is ending here. In this loop 2, it is going through here, pass to sign, here also pass to sign, here also pass to sign. Uh, all it is moving with pass to sign. That's why we are going to write opposite sign. Individual loop 2 is moving like this, like this, like this, like this, minus what are the blocks that are present in individual loop 2 is G1, G2, G4, and H2. Likewise, we are going to write all individual loops. In individual loop 3, it is moving from plus 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 and here also plus that's why we are going to write minus opposite sign g1 g2 g3 and h2 and now we are going to write individual loop 4 also individual loop 4 is moving like this here it is starting from here and it is moving like this like this like this and it is moving from negative sign that's why we are going to write plus g3 g5 h3 and individual 5 also we are we are going to write it is moving like this like this like this like this it is also moving from plus symbol and minus symbol plus into minus minus now we are going to write opposite symbol plus g4 g5 and h3 there is two non-touching loops in our block diagram that one also we are going to write mainly one difference when writing individual loops and two non-touching loops what are the symbol we are getting in individual loops we are going to write opposite symbol likewise when we are writing two non-touching loops what are the symbol we are getting the same symbol we are going to write in this one there are two non-touching loops present in this block diagram. First two non-touching loops are loop 1, loop 5, loop 4, loop 1 and loop 5. Here one negative symbol, here also negative symbol, negative negative plus. That's why we are going to write plus only. Here while writing two non-touching loops, the same symbol we are going to write in trans function. Both we are getting plus only, plus individual loop 1 and 5. G1, G2, H1, G4, G5 and H3. Individual loop 1 and loop 5 and we are also going to write loop 1 and Look for these are also two non touching loops only G3, G5, and H3. Look one and look four. This one is look five, this one is look four, this one is look three, this one is look two, this one is look one. This is our final trans function for this block diagram shown in figure. Thanks for watching this video. Those who are newly watching my channel, please do subscribe. It gives me motivation for doing more and more videos. Thanks.